Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F16C Viper video, we'll take a look at close range air combat in the Viper. This includes the gun, the AIM-9 Sidewinder, the helmet mounted queuing system, and the dogfight switch. Let's get started. All right, let's take a look at uh, close air combat in the Viper. So the first thing I'll do is I'll turn on my Hemix or helmet mounted queuing system. And when I do that on the Hemix, I can see I have my G, my airspeed, master arm setting, master mode, our bullseye, our heading tape, a gun cross, altitude, and some navigation data. Now on the throttle, there's a switch called the dogfight switch. And when I move it aft, I go into dogfight mode. And zoom in on the HUD here. We see a DGFT indicating we're in dogfight mode. Uh, the radar is automatically turned off. We have a gun funnel, EGS, which would fly to essentially place the wingtips on the sides of the funnel to be in range. And then you have a AIM-9 reticle here on the HUD. Now, while also in this mode, we can also select different air combat maneuvering radar modes that will lock a target out to 10 miles. Uh, first, if you go TMS forward, we have foresight mode, which is indicated by cross. And you essentially fly the cross onto the target to lock it up. Or if you go TMS aft, we go into 60 mode, which is essentially 60 degrees above your lift vector, which is pretty handy for a turning fight. Now also, we go back to a foresight. If you're in foresight mode and you're in the Hemix, you automatically have an ellipse to lock the target up. You essentially fly to place the target within the ellipse to lock it up automatically. Now, coming down to the SMS, uh, for the AIM-9, we have two different modes we can use this in. First, in slave mode, it will automatically slew or slave the AIM-9 seeker to the contact locked by the radar. Or we can go to foresight mode, and the seeker, as long as it's within the gimbal limits of the AIM-9, will follow wherever you look. So you essentially uh, place the reticle uh, diamond over a target, wait for a good tone, and then uncage the seeker for self-track, and then launch. Pretty simple. Go back to slave for now. So in this way, we're in a dogfight. Uh, it's really handy that you have both the gun uh, with the funnel and different modes of AIM-9X engagement. Now, also in the dogfight switch, you can move forward to go to essentially missile mode. It will automatically select the missile on board with the greatest range. So if you have uh, AIM-120s on board, it would automatically select your AIM-120 with a 40-mile range. Anyhow, folks, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.